We were inspired by the client's 17th furniture, such as the smoke USM cabinet, Togo sofa and her orange Artemid lamp. We took into account their colors and materials in order to create a cohesive space. The idea of our design was to create balance between function and a clear and flexible space so the client can rearrange as her life changes. My office specially works on existing buildings because I love the older materials and I think it's important to have a connection with the past. The apartment is in a very large new Osmanian condominium built at the beginning of the 20th century. It's located in a popular district in Paris called Goutte d'Or. It's a very lively district. My name is Bertie Borgia. I'm an architect, founder of OVO Studio in Paris. Psst. Want to see something we've been working on? Never Too Small Volume 2 is available for pre-order from our store at nevertoosmall.com with books shipping in February 2024. I know, soon. You're welcome. The client is a young professional working with startups and this is her first home. She initially hired me to help remove a load-bearing beam in the kitchen but we ended up renovating the whole apartment. The apartment had not been renovated in a long time. There was an enclosed kitchen and an open living and dining area, a bedroom at the end of the hallway and a small and dark bathroom. The client's first request was to remove the walls around the kitchen and open it up to the living area. We also removed the walls around the bathroom and created a new toilet and a new entrance to the larger bathroom. So the door to the bedroom was removed and allowed more light to enter the bathroom. Immediately when you enter the apartment, you can see part of the kitchen. There is a tall closet for coats and shoes and other items and we hid the electrical cabinet with a curtain in order to have a cozy entrance. After removing the walls around the kitchen, we were able to increase the size of the kitchen. The kitchen cabinets are oak with polished concrete for the countertop. The storage unit hides the fridge, washing machine and a lot of storage for the kitchen. And there is a water boiler hidden behind the hidden wall. Because the kitchen is a part of the living room, we wanted the kitchen to have a clean and open look. This is why we chose not to have cabinets above the kitchen counter. This also meant we couldn't have a traditional range hood, so the induction cooktop we chose actually has an extraction fan built in. We choose to use mirrors for the splashback because they are easy to clean while also reflecting the surrounding space. The kitchen cabinet and countertop seamlessly transitions into a large oak wall storage unit. To taper off at the end of the kitchen storage unit, we added a curve front to wrap around the existing beam. It softens the space and is a nice contrast to the flat lines of the joinery in the living room. We left the bare metal beam to remind us of its connection with the past. We love this link between the structural and decorative elements. The dining area has a generous dining table that can fit six people. As it is in the open space to the living room, it allows guests to interact between the two spaces. 
The living room has two large windows, which brings in a lot of natural light. We designed the space to be fluid, so that the client can move things around and rearrange it to suit her needs. And this is also why the Togo sofas are great, as they are very easy to move and because of the low profile, it also gives the small living room feeling more spacious. We added floating shelves on either side of the old fireplace, which was removed before the client arrived. One of the walls, we left it blank so the client can use a projector to watch movies. We extended the storage closet at the entrance to wrap around the bottom of the living area. The color of the storage is the same as the kitchen countertop. It also can be used as a bench or surface to sit on and display artwork and plants. The toilet uses a pocket door to maximize the space. This allowed us to add a small wash basin in the corner. The square orange tiles give some warmth to the toilet room and the 17th filling. We created a new and sweet bathroom. It makes the bedroom feel a lot bigger. The floor and walls in the bathroom are polished concrete. They are the same materials we use in the kitchen. We keep the bathroom simple. There is a shower with a niche for toiletries and a white vanity with a terrazzo basin. The bedroom is at the far end of the apartment. And we keep the original closet, but we abraded the closet doors using second-hand fabric and oak frames. The fabric can really add some soft touch to the bedroom. For the bedroom, we design a bed head with a niche on both sides to act like a bedside table. So the approach to design small spaces is to be very personalized and to be a good listener. There is no one set of rules that we apply to everyone. So it is important to understand their lifestyle and needs. Thanks for watching, and if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.